Welcome to the Thursday, October 11th, 2012 edition of Ernerberry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, we put a Comptel spotlight on the Canadian snow crab market, and later, a look at the recent behavior of chicken drumstick values. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Investors in Paseo Biofuels, the Missouri Soybean Association, and Cargill announced an expansion to the Paseo Biodiesel plant in Kansas City, Missouri, that will increase biodiesel production capacity by 40%. The plant uses soybean oil as its primary feedstock and produces 30 million gallons of biodiesel and 30 million pounds of food grade glycerin annually, and is expected to be completed by March 2012. Grain and oilseed supply chain leader of Cargill said the partnership with Paseo has gone very well over the last four years, having built an excellent operation that serves many of the major petroleum retailers in the U.S. For more on Cargill's recent investment and for other Center of the Plate protein news, head over to foodmarket.com. Now let's take a look at the latest Comtel Spotlight, Ernerberry's newest weekly email service dedicated to delivering Comtel subscribers significant center of the plate market trends and expert market analysis directly to their inboxes. In today's Comtel Spotlight, Ernerberry staff writer Michael Ramsing looks at the Canadian snow crab market as it advances into the month of October. The Canadian snow crab market advanced during the month of September and looks to be continuing this trend in October. Although the market is about 90 cents below where it was last year at this time, the current undertone is improving. Supplies range adequate to barely adequate for an active to brisk demand. Production from Canada, meanwhile, will not begin until early spring in 2013, and the Alaskan Opelia quota has been cut 25%. As a result, this could cause additional upward pricing pressure for the Canadian snow crab market. Thanks, Michael. Look out for our weekly Comtel Spotlights in your inbox. And for information for non-subscribers on how to obtain your Spotlight message, call our expert customer service staff at 1-800-932-0617. To wrap up today's video, Erner Berry's chicken market reporter James Serpico takes a look at the recent decline in the value of chicken drumsticks. As the month of October rolls right along, we thought it fitting to turn the focus of our chart to the recent position of drumsticks today. The drumstick market and the dark meat complex as a whole historically takes a turn for the worse during the fourth quarter following the more active grilling season of summer. As it is shown here by the graph, this year has been no exception. The negative market movement for drumsticks actually began earlier than usual this year following a trend line similar to that of 2010. In fact, Ernerberry's value for drumsticks has declined by 10 cents per pound since the end of April. Export disputes with China and Mexico have played a hand in this scenario, leaving additional supplies of drums on the open market. It's worth noting that the recent government purchase of dark meats is expected to alleviate some of the typical seasonal pressures, but that remains to be seen. Thanks, James. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.